and code effectively today we will be discussing another topic that is known as state object and observed object these are the property wrappers in swift ui we use and these property wrappers help us in many ways in order to pass data from one value to another or we can say they are used these are the property wrappers which are used to pass values okay and these values are of reference type okay not of like um variables or some we can say primitive type they are of reference type values that we can pass okay from one view to another like we have a views so we can pass from one views to the another that's why we use them so reference type values they could be of class type or they could be of enum or they could be many more like you can have some array of array you need to pass so these values when you need to pass like we have some view models when we will be studying some mbv patterns where we have view models so these view models or we need to pass some model model could be like we can say any of the data structure okay so these data structures so when we need to pass some values that are of not primitive type by primitive i mean like these simple int and those string values so we use these type of property wrappers that are known as state and observed so but the one question that comes every time in the mind when people are studying in swift ui and they are uh, these are the basic foundation blocks okay whenever you will study swift ui you will get these two things these are like the baby steps when you are learning so these two things people get confused like when to use state object and when to use observed object so i will be just explaining you what exactly are these and how they could be used when you can how you can basically differentiate like when you want to use this and when you want to this okay so let's start with this so i will just open up a new section so that that would help you so let's start so basically when we are using swift so we need to make sure of few things okay so i will directly just start with it and we have the marker on great so when we are using in this swift ui we need to make sure few of the things when we use state object first question comes is when we use so state when see this is your let's say a parent view okay so this is your view you have been make okay so here is a let's say a text label okay so this is your main entry point of your app okay and where you are using and this is your main entry point and you have some value let's say a counter you are displaying here okay the counter value could be let's say 5 so this value you are you are expected to display here okay but when you go to next screen you want that in i can say this is a parent view okay and this is a child one so when you go to your next screen so you want like this value to be reflected over here so what is happening you need to pass the data okay so i am taking very easy example as of now that is a integer value but in some manner you need to pass entire data structure or you need to pass some heavy values like entire model you can pass you can pass many more things okay so these values are replicated here so what happens is like when we are first time initializing when we are first time initializing by initializing i can say we initialize as we or declaring as well as we need declare and initialize the value it's better to use a state object okay a state object is important to be used there state object what it does is why i'm focusing why we should use is because this state object stores the value okay it stores the value in itself and it does not get deleted if we refresh our view because sometime happens is we there is a view and we need to refresh the views by pulling up the screen or we can just click over this refresh and we need to refresh so these values are not lost if we use state object so what we can say first is the values values are not lost but if you use this observed object okay what happens in the observed object if you refresh this page now and you are using what you are using observed object okay so i'm just writing here observed object and you are using this observed object what will happen if you refresh your values are lost you will lost your values why because observed object only just it does not save the values okay it only just saves the instance of that view okay whatever that view was holding 
before it was refreshed it stores that value and once we refresh the view what happens like this values are lost because the view reinstantiate we can say view recreates itself when the view is recreating it will reinitialize the values okay it will put the values to their original whatever they were declared originally if i let's say this value was declared in since these are int values they were five int values are zero by default so what will happen it will be back to five so what does i this means is like when we are using when we are using um state first of all we can say there is state and there is observed okay so there is observed object okay so first of all we can say here in state the values are if we refresh the values are not lost okay values are not lost or we can say not reinstantiated or we can say no reinitialization okay so that would be a great technical term if we use but here the values are lost okay lost i can say and yes reinitialization is done okay that is important and why is it so happening that is also another question we need to think of it what happens is state stores the value okay it stores the value in its memory okay it stores the value in the memory it stores but what it does observe it just stores the view values okay and if our view is been re created or we can say reinitialize or refresh or there are some changes in the view then entire view will be refreshed and when the entire view has been refreshed then we will lose the value so what basically happens is like say this is my view and in my view i have this term let's say okay and these are the also values so what happens in swift ui basically if this is my view and i want to change the value of this text label what swift ui will do it will refresh the entire view okay it doesn't mean like if you are making this change here the change is been made here so only this part will be refreshed the entire view has to be refreshed and when this entire view gets refreshed so whatever value was been stored here it will get lost as it will be refreshed okay this is in the case of observed okay but if in the same scenario i have two labels okay and one value has to be changed so it means like let's say this value has to be changed so only this value will be refreshed and it will be changed since the second label won't be changed because i have declared it state object so what state object does it holds its original value whatever it was it does not allow this part to be refreshed okay so that's the main difference between observed and state so here in the observed it allowed everything to be refreshed it was very kind person it allowed to refresh itself but state being hard and strict person it did not allow you no know, i won't allow you you do not need me to refresh only the part that has been required can refresh so that is the main objective see so now you question will come like when i should use then state and when you should use observed so it depends upon your business logic or your whatever your app has or your app requires like if on refreshing the entire page let's say you refresh your entire page and you do not want the previous values then definitely you can go with observed object okay but if your app wants like on refresh i need to hold the values whatever were retained previously then you should go definitely with the state okay declaring those values so basically what we can do for been in ios development for a long time now so what i have think is we have we have a solution when these are the views and we know like this view has to refresh or it can refresh and it values can change but we need to hold the values okay so what we can do we can pass the state object reference to this so if i declare this observed object okay so i have declared it let me rec typing error sorry so if i de i have declared it as observed object what i can do i can just pass the instance of my state object here okay so let's say state object here was int value okay so here was a int value that is as 5 for the time being so it passed over here also 5 now what happened both the pages got refreshed when both the pages got refreshed this value would be stored as 5 
and here also now 5 will be appeared it will value be stored why what happened because when we refresh this page it went to its original value original value was 0 okay that's good but what happened observed object is now storing the reference or the address of the state object state object hold it value as I told you previously it can hold its value so it was holding its value 5 in let's say memory address 100 and we have passed this memory address 100 to the observed object so when it will refresh it will go back again to the memory address 100 and it will see what is the value being here currently 5 so the 5 value is being stored so irrespective like we know that int value will be reflected back to 0 we, it did not get refreshed uh, like we can say it did not get removed or it original values why because we ask observed object to look at this state value object address whatever because state value being rigid it will hold its value on refreshing and we can pass this value to the observed one okay so this is how we can use state and observe i know there would be few some more questions in your mind so we can go ahead with the simple app i have created a normal one in order to demonstrate exactly how this state and observed object works so let's say this is my data structure i want to pass its value okay so in order to use observed object or we can say state object we need to make our values like the class which we want to make it pass from one view to another or from one child sub view to the parent sub view we need to make it as observable object it need to confirm to this protocol that is very necessary thing okay and we know like this value can change so we can declare this value since we know as i was talking here we have some value int as 5 and this can change on if the user click on it or we can say it's a counter or something so we know it value can change so we have declared it as published published means like i am telling everyone in this world whosoever is using me for its data structure for passing some values i will be changing my values so this publish declares in the entire world okay it goes and make announcements whosoever is using make sure like i can change the value and keep looking for me i will be changing the value so you need to update yourself okay so here is my simple view that I have created. Okay, so this is my parent count like I have kept. This is my parent view as you know, this will be my parent view and here I am just changing its value by tapping on the button one. So the values are being you can say it can change as you can see. Okay, so now from this I have just called state object. Okay, in this state object view I am making now so you can see this is my object that I wanted to create. I have made the instance of this object as you can see and here I am increasing its value as you can see user view model dot user and this user I am on tapping I am increasing it by multiple of two. So as you can see if I change the value of state object 5 it will be 5 into 2 makes it 10 and 10 into 2 makes it 20. Okay just take this part only don't go to the observed value and now here I have pass this user model because I told you because we need to pass one value from one parent view to the another parent view or from one child view to another child views these are the sub views we can say so this I am passing it so when I pass so I can just pass my reference or you can say the address of my class that I have created so I have just passed my address of my class okay and here this address is been stored basically you can see here I have not initialized the values it is just taking the values from the state object now from the state objects here what I am doing I am just increasing this model value by 5 okay so what happens now if I just reiterate over it basically from the state we are passing some values we are multiplying it by 2 and the same value the same address because I am passing the address over here at line number 36 this same value I am been increasing by 5 okay and it's a plus of 5 we are increasing by 5 so you can see when I increase the state value 10 observed value also increase by 10 why because we are passing the address and at this address both the value both observed and state are looking at it any changes I made they will reflect in there and in the same manner if I increase the value of the model by 5 okay using the observed object as I will click on observed object you will see increase of 5 will make it 15 and the state value will also refresh itself yeah got it so it got refresh why because they both are pointing to the same value okay now if I increase the parent value what will happen the values will be retained as you can see 1 
to i am increasing and these values are retained because why state is rigid it will not refresh it will self it will say i do not want to refresh myself and if i increase it is by 5 and we can increase by into 2 so these values you can see are not been increased now i will show you one twist what if i have been not using this observed object in passing the values and i wanted to just make my own instance of my model okay so i said okay great do it go ahead so i just made our observed object view state object view and this parent view is already storing its counter so you can see this value is are increasing well and good state object now it's increasing its own value observed object is increasing its own value by 5 and state object is a multiple of 2 as i told you previously nothing now the values are not been passed so now both observed and state are holding their own values with their own ownership they are not sharing the same values or the same address now what will happen if i increase the parent counter state value been rigid enough been a rigid boy he will say no i will not change my value but observed object as i told you was a kind person on the change of parent value this value will be refresh and will be initialized to whatever the value it was it was initially 5 so it will initialize as you can see state value was rigid it did not refresh but observed got refreshed and you can see if i again change the parent counter to 6 the state value will remain the same but the observed value will be back to 5 so that's the difference so if you do not want to lose your data on the refreshing of a view you need to make this observed object calling done by the state object so that it does not loses its value on change so you can say like this like observed object will take the value from the state object okay and now if you keep on changing the values let me refresh my app see i am changing the values though both are going well and if i keep increasing because state object is rigid it will not change its value and when observed object got initialized back to 5 what happened it came inside and it saw okay i am just storing the value from the reference address that has been passed by the state object at line number 36 so what is the value here currently it is 55 so it will refresh itself to 55 because state of it can take the because they both are storing the same values na basically so i hope you understood like how exactly state and observed works now um just to in order to summarize this video into 5 minutes i can just say directly so this was a parent view and in this parent view we had this as a state i will just write it here as state and it was like object observed one and this was a parent view and it was having a counter that could refresh itself okay so what happened if those were they were not when they were connected parent view refresh itself when it refresh itself state object was very rigid it did not refresh itself and it did not refresh itself so what happened it passed its after refreshing observed got refresh but as soon as got refresh it copied the value that was previously from the state because it was because they both were pointing to the same address in the memory that is we can say 100 so what it got observed reinitialize itself and then it directly went to that 100 place and it saw what is the value currently if it is 500 it will store 500 because they were sharing like even after losing the value because they were attached to each other observed object was not able to lose its value that was before the refreshing but if it had been the case in this when they are not connected okay so when they are not connected and this is my state one and this is my observed okay and this is my parent and now they are not connected what will happen if the val parent is refreshing it will also get refresh state will not refresh but now it is refresh it lost its value because they are not connected so when they are not connected it did not get what was the previous value that i was holding it forgot it lost its memory so that's why whenever you want to refresh something and you want to hold the values so it's better to connect the state observed okay so whenever you need some values that are not to be lost on the recreation of this view when the views got refresh so it's better to make state object okay but when you want like your values could lose when they are refreshing so it's better to go for the observed object i hope this video taught you enough if you understood and if you got some glimpse do like this video and share the videos thank you